ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. This is the Morning Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 27th of February. Talk about the wild weekend here. Just about everything in the forecast except uh, tsunamis and earthquakes and maybe a heat wave. Let's go right to some of the sky cam shots around the network this morning. There's the view coming from uh, downtown Clanton down in Chilton County. Rain falling there. Uh, showers had developed during the pre-dawn hours and thunderstorms to the northwest. There's the Birmingham sky cam looking north from the uh, top of the Daniel Building and up in Decatur. Light rain falling there in the Tennessee Valley. You can see our band of thunderstorms this morning stretching from North Mississippi all the way up to near Cincinnati and Cleveland. And uh, there's a look at the radar at 455. You can see the showers over the central and southern part of our market and up north. Widespread rain falling over the northwestern part of the state. A good rain up there. Uh, there's a look at the larger picture. The stronger storms are up in Tennessee and Kentucky. Uh, that's just mostly light rain with some embedded thunder across North Mississippi and Northwest Alabama. Uh, the main concern, I think, with this will be from heavy rain and the potential for some flooding. Uh, the Weather Service in Birmingham has put up a flash flood watch, and you can see why. If this is right, this is the QPF graphic expecting a bullseye of 5.6 inches near Anniston. And it uh, seems like the I-20 corridor could be the beneficiary of the heaviest rain with this thing. Not we, we need the rain. It's wonderful, but I don't think we need five inches, and I'm not so sure we get that much. That sounds a little aggressive, but uh, I think uh, one to two inches is a lock, three to four inches possible, and maybe somebody might pick up five on the high end. Uh, we've got this uh, slight risk of uh, rainfall exceeding flash flood guidance here. Thank goodness the ground is dry. We can accommodate a lot of rain without flooding. But, again, if you wind up with some three, four, or five-inch amounts, it doesn't matter if the ground's dry or not. That could cause some flooding issues. So heavy rain and flooding, one concern. Severe weather, a possibility. And, again, if you watch these videos this week, I've never been really overly impressed with the severe weather potential, and it stays that way this morning. This, the slight risk area is from I-65 west. Uh, it includes parts of west Alabama, uh, much of Mississippi, then back off to the west. No doubt the better instabilities will be over there. I just don't think there will be sufficient surface-based instability for a big problem, but we've got a surface boundary nearby. Anytime you've got those, you have to watch for rotating updrafts. <clears throat> There's the tornado probabilities, only 2%. Uh, so obviously the tornado threat is not that high. The wind probability, chance of damaging wind up in the 15% range. And uh, again, we'll keep an eye on things. It, what do you do with storms? Expect the unexpected. So we'll be watching. Let's look at uh, modeling here. This is the 06Z GFS at noon today. The front parallel to the upper airflow, so it's not going to move much. That's the problem. It's just going to stall out. So rain and storms today, maybe some strong storms, maybe severe this afternoon or tonight. The rain could be heavy at times. Instability, this is coming off the RPM model. And uh, look at that. Just to, clearly the better instability back off to the west. Just a big rain mass sits in here. So hardly any surface-based instability here. The uh, better values, which are pretty good, are back off over central uh, Mississippi and north Louisiana. And that could be where the better chance of severe weather will be. Helicity values today, not that impressive. And again, when you do have a surface boundary nearby, sometimes the low-level winds get backed around to the southeast, and you can have a few rotating updrafts. So we'll keep an eye on things, but that is not overly impressive. Now tomorrow, here comes our bowling ball, the upper-level low. It's near Tulsa. Down below that, a surface wave is moving to the east. It's over Atlanta. So after a big soaking tonight, we think the rain will begin to taper off by midday tomorrow. And then you can see those uh, very low thickness values coming in from the northwest. There's a look at uh, Saturday at midnight. That feature is blowing through Tuscaloosa. And underneath that, uh, the thickness values clearly support snow. And with these things like that, inevitably, somebody will get some accumulating snow. But there is very little skill for me to tell you this far in advance who's going to get it. In fact, there's little skill at midday tomorrow to tell people who's going to have any accumulating snow. You have to just see the things setting up. 
Uh, we've done this way too many times to know it just doesn't work. If you try and forecast specific amounts in this setup with this cold core up or low, and then Sunday the thing rotates over to the east and uh, down below, the snow moves over into Georgia and South Carolina by midday Sunday with a few lingering snow flurries maybe over far east Alabama. It seems like the main window for snow would be from about 9 o'clock Saturday night until 9 o'clock Sunday morning. Now, this is just one map, and every run will look different, and these things are pretty much useless when it comes to this kind of deal. But if you like to look at these, uh, this is the NAM, the uh, 06Z run, suggesting the the better accumulating snow in Alabama would be over Anniston and Munford and Piedmont. And uh, this is suggesting the amounts there would be perhaps three inches or so. And you know, look, I do some, I think somebody could get five inches from this thing. I just don't know who. Uh, and a lot of people will get absolutely nothing. And often where you think you're going to get the heaviest snow, nothing happens where you don't expect much. That's where the big one is. So, uh, is there a potential for accumulating snow? Yes. I think a good chance somewhere in Alabama, but we just don't know where at this point, uh, Monday of next week, it's all gone. We uh, have a cold morning. We'll be in the 20s, but we'll start to uh, warm up. Tuesday of next week, dry and comfortable. Wednesday looks good. Thursday looks good. Next week looks just nice and quiet. And then at the end of next week, there's a look at Friday, some moisture to the north. Quickly, at the end of the forecast, March 14th, the uh, flow shifts up north. And that looks pretty quiet, but as we all know, uh, that is pure voodoo out there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, weather allowing, we'll try and crank out another video by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local, be sure and catch us on ABC 3340 News tonight at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.